In the last lecture, we learned about ng style directive in Angular, which is a built in attribute directive. Now, in this lecture, we are going to talk about another built in attribute directive in Angular, which is ng class directive. The ng class directive is an attribute directive which allows us to add or remove CSS classes to or from an HTML element dynamically based on some TypeScript expression. Let's try to understand ng class directive with an example. So, currently in the web page, we have this search box and if the user does not type anything inside this search box then also he can click on this search button but what i want to do here is i only want to enable this search button if the user has typed something inside this text box then only this search button should be enabled and clickable and when it is enabled we want to have a different css style for this button and when it is disabled we want to have a different css style in that case so first of all, let's go ahead and let's disable this button when this text box is empty. For that, let's go to VS Code. And in there, let's go ahead and let's open this search component. So here, let's go to search component.html. And on this button element, we want to add disabled attribute. And we want to assign this disabled attribute with a value dynamically. So here, we are going to wrap this disabled attribute within square brackets like this. And now, Within these double quotes, we can assign any TypeScript expression to this disabled. If that TypeScript expression returns true, in that case, this button will be disabled. But if that TypeScript expression returns false, in that case, this button will not be disabled. Okay, so the TypeScript expression which we are going to write here is, we want to check the value of this search text property. If this search text property has some value, in that case, this search button should not be disabled. So before this, I will use not operator. Okay, so what will happen here is if this search text has some value, in that case, this expression will return false because the search text in this case will return true because a string value is a truthy value. On that, when we are using this not operator, it is going to return false. So it is not going to disable the button. But if this search text does not have any value, if it is empty string, empty string is a falsy value. And on that falsy value, when we are using this not operator, this complete expression is going to return true. So in that case, this button will be disabled. So if we go to the web page, this button is now disabled. But if I start typing something here, in that case, now this button is enabled. Now, based on if the button is enabled or disabled, we want to set some CSS style on this search button. For that, we are going to use ng style directive. So let's go back to VS Code. And now on this button element, we want to add some CSS styles dynamically. So currently we are using this class attribute here in order to define some style. Basically we are adding two CSS classes, btn and btn search. But now we want to apply these CSS classes dynamically based on a condition. For that, instead of using this class attribute here, we are going to use ng class directive. So here I can say ng class. Now here inside this ng class, if I specify some CSS style, for example, again, if I say btn and btn search, it will still work. So if I save the changes, if I go back to the web page, you see that CSS class is still working, even though we are using ng class directive. But in this way, we cannot apply any CSS style dynamically based on some condition. In order to do that, we will have to wrap this ng class directive within square brackets like this. So here, we will have to use property binding then only we will be able to use some TypeScript expression inside these double quotes. So now these values, this btn and btn search, they are not treated like a string value. Now they are treated like a TypeScript variable. Okay, and since we don't have these variables, that's why you will see property btn does not exist on type search component. So there is no property called btn inside this search component class. And also the same error here. Okay, so now inside this, we can write any TypeScript expression. Now, in order to add CSS classes dynamically on this button element or on any other HTML element, first we use ng class directive wrapped within square brackets like this. And then to that, we assign these double quotes. And inside the double quotes, we need to use a set of curly braces like this. And inside that, we specify all the CSS classes which we want to use for that particular HTML element. Now, in this case, for this button, first of all, I want to use this BTN CSS class. And I want to use it always, no matter if the button is disabled or the button is enabled. So here I'm going to assign a value to it called true. That means I want to apply this CSS class on this button element always. 
then let's use comma then we also want to use another css class so let me go to this search component.css there we have this btn search css class i want to apply this css class when this search text has some value okay so again on this one i'm going to use search text property so if the search text has some value in that case we want to apply this css style on the button element but if this search text does not have any value that means if it is empty string then we want to create a new css class in order to save some time i have already created it so here it is let me go ahead and let me copy this css class let's go to vs code let's go to search component.css and let me paste it here let me copy this css class name and now let's go to search component.html so we want to apply this css class if this search text is empty string so to this colon again i'm going to assign this search text okay and before that i will use this not operator so if this search text is empty string that means it will return a falsy value in this case on that we are using this not operator so if the search text is empty string in that case this css class will be applied on this button element but if this search text is not empty string if it has some value so in that case if it will return true then this condition will return false so in that case this css class will not be applied on this button element but in that case this css class will be applied on this button element because here the search text is going to return true because for the search text we have some value and in that case this css class will be applied on this button element and this btn css class it will be always applied on this button element because for that we have specified the value as true so it is always going to stay true so in that case this css class will always be applied on the button element but this css class and this css class it will be applied dynamically in this case either one of these two will be applied based on the value of the search text if the search text is true in that case this css class will be applied but if the search text is false in that case this css class will be applied now when i say this search text is true or false that means when this search text has a truthy value or a falsy value because this search text it is going to store a string value now if that string value is an empty string in that case this search text will be a falsy value because that empty string is a falsy value so here when we are using it like a condition that empty string that falsy value will be typecasted to false so in this case this expression will return false but if this search text has some value apart from empty string in that case that string value will be a truthy value so in that case this text value will be typecasted to true so keep in mind that after these css classes we need to write some typescript expression which can return a boolean value if we write a typescript expression which does not return a boolean value in that case whatever value that typescript expression will return that will be typecasted to a boolean value all right so with this let's save the changes let's go back to the web page and now you see currently this button is disabled and when i hover over it you can see this disabled cursor but as soon as i start typing something here you see that button is enabled but as soon as this search text box becomes empty again that button is disabled so here we are applying a css class dynamically using this ng class directive again in our coming lectures we might be using this ng class directive at multiple places so at that time you will see many other use cases where we can use this ng class directive now before i wrap up let me show you one more thing so as i mentioned in typescript or javascript there are some falsy values and there are some truthy values when we typecast the falsy values to boolean type those falsy values will be converted to false and when we typecast the truthy value to boolean type that truthy value will be converted to true now in typescript and javascript false empty string null undefined zero these are some falsy values and apart from that everything is a truthy value so in this example if this search text if it is not assigned with any text value in that case it will be stored with this empty string and this empty string is a falsy value so when we are using this search text here and when its value is empty string as i mentioned after this class name 
here it is expecting some boolean value but this search text it is storing empty string and that empty string is not a boolean value so that will be typecasted to boolean value now when empty string is typecasted to boolean value since empty string is a falsy value it will be typecasted to false but let's say this search text has some text value maybe let's say the user has typed iphone in the search text box in that case that iphone will be assigned to the search text property so that iphone is not an empty string that means this search text is storing some string value and that string value is not an empty string so in that case that string value in this case iphone is a truthy value so in that case that will be typecasted to true i hope it is clear so in this lecture we learned that the ng class directive is used to set a css class dynamically on an html element based on a given typescript expression and the ng class directive is an attribute directive it simply changes the look or the behavior of an html element it does not manipulate the dom by adding or removing element in the dom this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day